everyone, it's Anna's story time. We are gonna read the story about a giant, the smartest giant in town. The smartest giant in the town. In town. George was a giant, the scruffiest giant in town. He always wore the same pair of old brown sandals and the same old patched up gown. I wish I was I wasn't the scruffiest giant in town, he said sadly. Mm -hmm. But one day George noticed a new shop. It was full of smart clothes, so he bought a smart shirt, a smart pair of trousers, a smart belt, a smart stripy tie, and some smart socks with diamonds up the size, and a pair of smart shiny shoes. Now I am the smartest giant in town, he said proudly. Oh, George left his old clothes behind in the shop. He was about to go home when he heard a sound. Hmm. On the pavement stood a giraffe who was sniffing sadly. <laughs> What's the what's the matter? asked George. It's my leg, said the giraffe. It's so very long and so very cold. I wish I had a long warm scarf. Oh poor giraffe. Cheer up, said George. And he took off his Stripy tie. It didn't match my socks anyway, he said, as he wandered round and round the giraffe's neck. It made a wonderful scarf. Thank you, said the giraffe. As George strode towards home, he sang to himself, My tie is a scarf for a cold giraffe. But look me up and down. I'm the smartest giant in town. George came to a river. On a boat stood a goat who was bleating loudly. What's the matter? asked George. It's my sail, said the goat. It blew away in a storm. I wish I had a strong new sail for my boat. Mm. Cheer up, said George. And he took off his new white shirt. It kept coming, it kept coming untucked anyway, he said, as he, as he tied it to the master of of the goat boat here it made us mag, a magnificent sail thank you said the goat oh, oh look at george george strode on singing to himself my tie is a scarf for a cold giraffe my shirt on a boat as a sail for a goat but look me up and down, I'm the smartest giant in town. George came to a tiny ruined house. Uh oh, beside the house stood a white mouse with lots of baby mice. They were all squeaking. What's the matter? asked George. Oh. It's our house, squeaked the mother mouse. Oh, it burned down, and now we have nowhere to live. I wish I 
wish we had a nice new house. Oh. Cheer up, said George, and he took off one of his shiny shoes. It was giving me a blisters anyway, he said, as the mouse and her babies scrambled inside the shoe made it a perfect home for them thank you they squeaked george had george had to hop along the road now but he didn't mind as he hoped he sang to himself <laughs> my tie is a scarf for a cold draft my search on a boat as a sail for a goat. My shoes is a house for a little white mouse. But look me up and down. I am the smartest giant in town. George came to a campsite. Beside a tent stood a fox who was crying. <laughs> What's the matter? asked George. It's my sleeping bag, said the fox. Oh, I dropped it in a puddle. Uh-oh, I wish I had a warm, dry sleeping bag. Cheer up, said George. And he took off his one of his socks with the diamonds up the sides. It was tickling my toes anyway, he said, as the fox snuggled into it. It made a very fine sleeping bag. Thank you, said the fox. George hopped on, singing to himself. My tie is a scarf for a cold draft. My shirt's on a boat as a sail for a goat. My shoes, my shoe is a house for a little white mouse. One of my socks is a bed for a fox. But look me up and down. I am the smartest giant in town. George came to a big squishy, squishy box. Here. Beside the box stood a dog. Who was Howling. Oh, what's the matter? asked George. It's this bug, said the dog. I need to get across, but I kept getting stuck in the mud. I wish there was a safe, dry path. Cheer up, George said, and he took off his smart new belt. It was a squashing my tum it was squashing my tummy anyway, he said, as he laid it down over the box. It made an excellent path. Oh thank you, said the dog. The wind started to blow but george didn't mind he hopped on singing to himself my tie is a scarf for a cold draft my shirts on a boat as a sail for a goat my shoe is a house for a little white mouse one of my socks is a bed for a fox my belt helped a dog who was crossing a box but <laughs> my trousers are falling down. I'm the coldest giant in town. <laughs> Without a bell, his pants fall down. Suddenly, George felt sad and shivery and not at all smart. Wow. He stood on one foot and thought, 
I'll have to go back to the shop and buy some more clothes. He decided, and he turned around and hopped all the way back to the shop. Oh, here's the shop. But when he got there, it was closed. Oh no, cried George. He sank down onto the, the, door the doorstep and a tear ran down his nose. He felt as sad as all the animals he had met on his way home. Oh. Then out of the corner of his eyes, he saw a bag with something familiar poking out of the top here. George took a close look, took a closer look. My gun, he yelled, my dear old gun and sandals. George put them on. They felt wonderfully comfortable. I am the, I am the coast Huh? Coast, coastest giant in the town. I am the coastest giant in town, he cried. And he danced back home. He danced back home along the road. Mm -hmm. oh, outside his front door stood all the animals he had helped. The giraffe, the mice, and the goats, and the fox, and the dog. They were carrying an enormous present. Come on, George, they said. Open it. George untied the ribbon. Inside was a beautiful gold paper crown and a card. Looked inside the card, George said the animals. George put the crown on his head and opened the card. Inside it said, huh? Your tie is a scarf for a cold draft. Your shirt's on a boat as a sail for a goat. Your shoe is a house for a little white mouse. Uh huh. Oh, little white mouse. One of your socks is a bed for a falls. And your belt helped a, so a dog who was crossing a bog. This dog. So here is a very fine crown to go with the sandals and crown of the kindest giant in town. Ah, nice card. The end. What a lovely story. There's always happiness in helping people. See you next time. Bye-bye.